Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last session, we discussed how to delete a node with a single child in a binary search tree. Now, in this session, we are going to see how to delete a node, how to delete a node is having two children in a binary search tree. Deletion of node in a binary search tree and here the concept is node having two children is a heading. How? And here also so many possibilities are there, possibilities. So, what are the possibilities? Already we discussed right in a previous sessions very clearly. If you want to delete a node is having two children, some of the nodes I am taking, some of the nodes, suppose 50, 60, 70, 80, 65, 55, 53, 57, 40, 30. I have inserted some of the nodes by following the rules of a binary search tree, by following the rules of binary search tree. Here whenever we are inserting the elements, whenever we are inserting the elements, so we are following the rules, nothing but uh, so greater values move to right side, lesser values move to left side. But now I just want to delete this one, this is my target, I want to delete this node. A node is having two children, left children is there and right child is there. Then after deleting this node, with which node we have to replace? So that is, so whatever the highest element in the left subtree, this is left subtree, this is one highest element, highest element in a left subtree. And next one, what is the least element in a right subtree? So, what is the least element in the right subtree? That is a 65. Least element in a right subtree. Two options you have. Nothing but 60 node, you have to replace with either 57 or you can replace with a 65. So, then only we can satisfy the rules of a binary search tree after deletion of a node is having two children okay and how to delete and so many possibilities are there we will see one by one see for example so i am taking so one pattern one tree we are taking some of the nodes is having so i am writing the nodes Fifty, suppose forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and here it is fifty five. Node addresses also thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, and six thousand. Here it is a left child is there. Here it is a right child is there, next here also left child is present, right child is present, next here it is a right child is present and remaining nodes are null nodes. So, possibilities, now this is a target node is nothing but this is the current node and this is the parent node consider. This is the current node and this is the parent node. Now, possibilities, right? So, what are the possibilities? So, current, sir, after deleting this 60, so what approach you will follow? Highest element in the left subtree or a least element in the right subtree? I will go for least element, least element in a right subtree. 
I will replace with the least element in the right subtree. After deleting, so this is a right subtree. This is a right subtree. So, what is the least element in the right subtree? Is a 70 only. 70. So, right. That means here it is the node is a current. Now, we need to check one more thing. How you can confirm that this is having two nodes means if, if current to left not equals to null and current to right not equals to null. Current to left not equals to null, current to right not equals to null. So, then only it is confirmed that the node is having two children. If current to left equals to null, current to right equals to null means what? Is node having no children? Is easy for de to delete. And uh, current to left not equals to null, right equals to null. Or current to left equals to null, right not equals to null. That is, node is having a single children. That is also we discussed very clearly in a last session. Now, left children is not empty and right children is also not empty. So, node is having two children, but now in this case, right, we should go for right subtree, a least element. So, we are taking one element, struct node, struct node, star, suppose t1 comma t2, two pointers, into t1, into t1, so we are taking, so current to, current to right. Current to right we are taking, current to right this is. For example, if T1 to left equals to null, sir why sir, reason, suppose if left not equals to null, suppose here it is one node is there, imagine. So, what the node will be, is less than 70, na? greater than 60, less than 70, for example, 65. By that time, you have to delete with this node or for example, T2, left child is not there and right child is also not there, very happy. You just want to delete this node, whenever you want to delete this node, whenever you want to delete this node, what you have to do means, we need to go for right subtree least element, but in a right subtree only one node is there, 70. So, that is what we call the T1, current to right equals to T1, this is pointing by T1, T1 value 5000, current value 3000, 3000, T1 value is a 5000. Now, we are checking T1 to left equals to null, T1 to right equals to null. If T1 to left equals to null and T1 to right equals to null, null. So, very simple. Just T1 data store into current data. T1 data is what? 70. T1 data store into current data. 70 we are storing nothing but 60, 60 is replaced with the value 70, is replaced. Now we are deleting this node because anyway no nodes are present. Na? How to delete this node means here there is no right pointer, here it is a 5000 we should make it null, 5000 we should make it null, right, how? Current to right equals to null, after this into current to right we are storing null value simply free of T1, free of T1 because T1 is pointing to 5000, na? no pointer then you can call a free function on this. This is one approach. 
second approach for example it is having the node it is having the node just look at this now so i am writing the nodes for example here the value 60 and next one here it is a some value is there like a 55 and here it is a value 70 here it is a value 80 3000 4000 it is null it is null 4000 here and next one 5000 is here and uh, suppose 6000 is here and the remaining nodes are null now as usual this is a parent this is current now so current to write as usual we are storing into t1 nothing but current is a 3000 and next one t1 means what current to write this is a t1 current to write 5000 now we need to find out the least element in the right subtree least element in the right subtree so then in this situation what we have to do means current to left not equals to null current to right not equals to null is okay but next t1 t1 equals to current to right and simply now we are checking if t1 to right not equals to null t1 to right not equals to null and t1 to left equals to null t1 means what is a 5000 na? 5000 to left equals to null and next one t1 to right not equals to null not equals to null then what we have to do so very simple here it is pointing to 5000 right so now observe two things first you need to delete this node deleting nothing but 70 we are placing here 70 we are placing here how to place t1 t1 to data will be stored into current to data t1 to data will be stored into current to data nothing but 70 will be stored here next in the previous case before deleting this one here we are writing null now before deleting this one here you have to place this node value this node is what a 6000 how to place t1 to write is a 6000 t1 to write t1 to write so will be stored into current to write t1 to write will be stored into current to write t1 to write is a 6000 na that we are storing here is a equals to current to write 6000 then it stop pointing it start pointing to this one now we need to delete this node before deleting this node here you have to place null value because it is connecting na? we need to destroy this connection how t1 to write equals to null e1 to write equals to null and finally free of e1 this is okay that is nothing but before deleting the node in the right subtree right that right child is having any another right child then you will face problems after deleting this node directly you can't delete by placing null here because we lost some other connections also that is why first we have to connect this and then separately we need to delete this one this is and one more thing is there sir suppose if it is having left children then problem we should move all the way down to find out the least element and then we perform deletion operation right how to perform deletion operation that we will see in a next session for more videos so please subscribe to Narayshati channel thank you